Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film I'd like to show you how to make some modifications to our push rod that we did last week in week number four in order to uh, make a, uh, an extra part that we can put into our U-block assembly as part of the, some, of the cha or some of the exercises in the back of project number two. So this is what the rod's going to look like ultimately. You, you've seen videos of this. If you take a look at that, uh, you know, we have all sorts of uh, configurations that show its different sizes and stuff like that. You don't necessarily have to go through all this effort, but the requirement of this uh, class, the requirement of this assignment, is you create a couple different features. You create a feature out here that we could stretch by using configurations, and some sort of feature in the middle. It could be a hole, could be a boss, could be a boss coming out the top, could be a boss coming out the side, uh, a peg, or some sort of feature. And we'll talk about that in a minute, but that's going to be one of the requirements. So you have those two elements, and then you're going to control that with configurations as uh, I've shown you in uh, the videos that are already posted. So let's get started. It's going to be, uh, let's look at this real quick and just see uh, what uh, some of the modifications are going to be. Uh, the diameter of this uh, rod, which is uh, originally 75 millimeters, we're going to make that a little bit smaller. Your choice of size. I have it now at 40. But this size is going to be uh, kind of specific and we're going to take a look at that. So instead of it being 100 millimeters long, it's going to be 50. So this being 30, it's going to be 15. Instead of the, the clamp on the side being 20, it's going to be 10. 90 is still going to be the same uh, width on the inside because it still has to fit our U block. And then our hole wizard uh, location is going to be, um, I think it's 12 and a half as opposed to the 25. So a lot of things are going to be about half of what it was before. And I think the size of this, instead of it being 100 tall, it's only going to be 60 tall. So let's go ahead and do this. A lot of you have already done this. What you want to do is delete the features on the left hand side or suppress them. I have all those features in my clamp mirror. So what I did is I created everything over here on the right hand side and I just mirrored them over to the left hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and I can delete those or I can just suppress them. I think for now I'm just going to suppress them. Now before, quick, quick stop, before you do this you want to make sure that you've already saved your file as something different with a different name so you don't overwrite your original file. You want to make sure you keep that intact just in case just in case you make changes here that you don't like and you need to go back to the original file. So before you make any changes make sure you do that. Make sure you do a file save as and call it the pushrod1 or pushrod2 or put a date in front of it or pushrod modify or something like that or put it in a different folder. Okay, back, back to our uh, design. So let's make those changes. Double click on this. Instead of that being 30, we can make that 15. The diameter of this is going to be 40. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Uh, that way when I make the block a little bit smaller, I'm not going to get a conflict with my uh, dimension and then my fillet that I have there. So it's going to be 60. The side of the block is going to be, instead of 20, it's going to be 10. So I can make all my changes now. The 90 is going to stay the same. And this 100 turns into, um, mm, I forgot, I think it's 50. And let's go ahead and rebuild and say, see what that looks like. Uh, uh oh. Oh man, what, what, what's going on here? Okay, because I didn't change my uh, whole wizard location, it's uh, sitting out here in nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to go on my Sketch 6, right click on that, find out where that is. So it really doesn't understand uh, where it needs to put that. So, hmm, where is the conflict here? So it should be 25. Well, let's go ahead and change that to 12 and a half. Let's see what that does. It's going to make it a little bit shorter. Go ahead and rebuild. Yeah, there it goes. So put it back. It's a little bit deceiving because I put that after my fillet feature. So the fillet feature, uh, my full round fillet kind of disappeared in it. So those are the changes you need to make there. You need to make a change to your U-block in order to accommodate the holes here. So when you finally put this together, and I'll show you that in the next film, what that's going to look like, we're going to make a change to the U-block and uh, take in consideration a 12.5 millimeter dimension here. And we're going to take a whole wizard feature and actually just cut that all the way through using the same parameters that we have here. Okay, thanks.